name is Kyle, I'm the sous chef here at M Restaurant. Today we're going to be demoing our amuse bouche. This is a spherified prickly pear puree. So to start off, we're going to make the uh, alginate or the cooking bath. Um, this is what's going to set the puree into a sphere. So we're going to use a hand immersion blender, um, basically high speed to help uh, mix these chemical compounds together. So I just added sodium alginate and sodium citrate to water. Uh, you can see how it changed the viscosity. You're going to want this to sit for up to an hour so that all these little bubbles in there, they're going to pull out. Um, also strain this through a fine mesh sieve to get any of the particles that may not have com uh, combined properly. Um, so next we have the, uh, the edible liquid base. This is prickly pear puree, a little bit of water added to it, some citrus for flavor. Um, we have calcium lactate and we have xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is going to make the uh, sphere a little bit of uh, more of a smoother gelling agent. The calcium, because prickly pear has no calcium content into it, it's going to fortify this with calcium and that's what's going to create an ionic bond between these two chemicals, um, sodium alginate which is um, negative and calcium which is positive. So again we're going to go back to our immersion blender and we're, we can actually just throw these right in and then combine two. So you're going to want that to be dispersed evenly and thoroughly. Again, you'll have to let this sit for a good amount of time to pull all the bubbles out. Once all the bubbles are out, you will have two clear liquids, just like this, bubble free and good to go. We're just going to use a generic teaspoon right here to uh, create our spheres. So we're going to take a little bit of this and we're going to just drop it right into this bath. And you can see how it slowly drops down and it forms that gel around there. You have to let this sit in there for about 30 seconds to 3 minutes. Uh, the longer you let it sit in there, the harder a shell it's actually going to create for you. So I have one right here that's already been set. We'll just put this guy right here under the plate for you. See how it's a nice little ball right there? Just put that right on the plate. Just give it a little pop so you should see what's going on here. And that is our prickly pear reverse spherified uh, puree. Thank you.